Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Apple Education's Daily Tech Tips. And let's talk about Windows Media Player in Windows 10, shall we? A lot of people did not think that this hardcore Windows program that's been literally on every version of Windows since, is it 1999? Will make it to Windows 10, the operating system for the future. But here we are and Windows Media Player is still on Windows 10. And so here's everything you need to know about Windows Media Player on Windows 10. Number one, the interface. Now the interface of Windows Media Player on Windows 10 looks exactly as it has looked in every previous version of Windows for the last, I don't know how many years, I lost count. And it looks exactly the same. The menus, the color scheme, the positioning of icons and buttons, everything looks exactly the same. Even the play itself, when you click on this button right here, looks exactly like it has always looked. The play button, the next button, the volume rocker, everything looks exactly the same. And as soon as you launch it for the first time, it's going to look through your hard drive trying to find music and video files and try to organize them in that library as soon as possible. That's Windows Media Player for you. The interface is still exactly the same. You're not going to miss anything. Number two is how to launch Windows Media Player in Windows 10. Now you'll notice that in this new operating system, Windows Media Player is not getting as much love as it used to get in previous versions of Windows and especially Windows 7. It's not right here in the start menu. You have to kind of dig for it. It's not been pinned automatically to the taskbar. You kind of have to click on the start menu and then really, really scroll. Also, depending on how many programs you have installed, but you kind of have to look for it in the menu. Or better still, you can just type here Windows Media Player and then you'll find it and then click on it to launch it. And if you're planning to use it often, you can simply pin it to the taskbar. Just go back again to Windows Media Player then right click and then select pin to taskbar and it's going to be pinned to your taskbar so you can access it more easily another way to open windows media player is when you're opening a file maybe a media file maybe it's a it's a video like this one simply right click on the video then go to open with and select windows media player you can see it's not even in the top two and it's going to open windows media player and start playing your media files immediately so that's how to launch Windows Media Player in Windows 10. Number three, it's the features. Now, this is a really sad part about Windows Media Player. It hasn't received any new features, even with this new operating system, Windows 10. In fact, Microsoft has dropped support for DVD playback on Windows Media Player. So you can no longer play DVDs with Windows Media Player. But of course, there are other options that you can choose from VLC and other media players that you can use. Although I don't know who's still using DVDs in 2019. Also, despite the fact that you can actually link your computer to your OneDrive account and sync files in between, you still can't be able to stream music directly from your OneDrive account without having a synchronized folder of the same music on your computer, which kind of beats the purpose of having that stream feature anyway. And then number four, and lastly, is the future of Windows Media Player. And this has to be the saddest part of this video because I don't really see a future with Windows Media Player at all moving forward. They haven't been showing any interest at all. And in fact, they've now introduced the Movies app and another one for audio called the Groove Music app. And these are really looking like the future. They are cloud-based, they are multi-platform, they are everything Windows Media Player is not. And for Microsoft to include these features inside an operating system that already has Windows Media Player just goes to show you that they're not very keen on keeping Windows Media Player. It's definitely going to be scrapped in a few years to come. But if you like Windows Media Player, you can continue using it while it lasts. You can pin it to your taskbar. You can create a desktop shortcut for it. Keep using it. But I'd suggest you start getting used to the Movies app and the Groove Music applications on Windows 10. That's really the future. Anyway, thanks for watching. You can leave your comments and questions down in the comment section below this video. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips. Until the next one, my name is Chris and I'll talk to you guys soon.